Hi everyone, and thank you for joining the Philips Collaboration Experience. My name is Paul, and I'm gonna be your guide, and I'm joined today by Sarah. Thank you for helping us out, Sarah. Now, many of you are challenged to provide better care for patients while dealing with a growing number of IDNs that leave vital patient data siloed and care teams stretched, to say the least. So, we at Philips are very excited to show you our vision for delivering seamless care across the health continuum that serves both patients and the caregivers in the hospital, at home, and at all points in between. Our approach leverages clinical and operational insight to enable virtualized care delivery and centralized patient data flow in real time from a single location. Now by integrating patient information from Philips in-hospital and out-of-hospital solutions and from third-party providers, teams receive actionable data and proactive recommendations. Secure interoperability enables health systems to better manage workflows and scarce resources, reducing costs while delivering connected care all along the care continuum. And we can even take it a step further by centralizing care management and taking it virtual. In fact, you're all now viewing our simulation of an off-site collaboration center. These desktop monitors are your workspaces to make decisions and take action. And these screens display your situational overview. Now, let's see how this vision for collaborative care delivery played an active role in efficiently transitioning care for our fictional patient, Rosa, the grandmother of our Phillips family, as she received care at our fictional Valley Health Medical Center. Now, Rosa is 65 years old with a history of heart disease. And a few years ago, she had to undergo coronary bypass surgery. So when she began to experience chest pains at home, her husband called 911. Now, as soon as the EMS arrived, they connected her to a Philips vital signs monitor and a blood pressure cuff. And it was quickly determined Rosa needed to be transported to the emergency room. So Sarah, tell us how Philip's vision of a collaborative care center helped the care team prepare for Rosa so she could be treated as quickly and efficiently as possible. That's a great question, Paul. And the answer is with a continuous flow of data between remote and on-site care teams in the collaboration center. The monitor used on site by the EMS team transmitted Rosa's vital signs to a cloud-based platform via integrated cell phone technology. This gave the remote care team a real-time view of Rosa's vitals. The EMS caregiver also captured and transmitted a 12-lead ECG. Via the Collaboration Center, an e-health coordinator scheduled a telehealth call with Rosa's PCP and a cardiologist. The specialist could then remotely view the ECG, identify Rosa's abnormal heart rhythm, and quickly determine she needed to be transported to the hospital. The decision was documented and automatically transmitted back to the EMS and displayed on their monitor on scene. En route, Rosa remained connected to the monitor, ensuring a continued and uninterrupted flow of real-time data to the Collaboration Center throughout her trip to the hospital. So the Collaboration Center could then serve as an important connection between the EMS team and the hospital's emergency department, ensuring Rosa's care was handled with the most appropriate setting for her condition, with support from the most appropriate virtual specialists right from the start making best use of the health system's resources. So when Rosa arrived at the Valley Health Emergency Department, a bed was already waiting for her. Speeding up the admission process, her attending physician had received her clinical history for review as the ambulance pulled into the dock. He ordered a diagnostic image and lab tests, which were quickly completed and shared securely. He then ordered Rosa admitted to the med surge unit for centralized telemetry monitoring while assessing her labs and image results. So Sarah, it's been shown that Philips ED analytics have helped reduce the time it takes a patient to be seen upon arrival at the ED by more than 50%. So how then does a remote team in the collaboration center enable ED teams to optimize their workflow? With Philips collaborative systems of engagement, the team has complete 360 degree situational awareness of the emergency departments across the network, letting them confirm that Valley Health had the capacity to admit Rosa and alerting the team on site. 
Also, her care history could be pulled up in the EMR to facilitate planning for Rosa's care before she even arrived in the emergency department, shortening the patient handover time. The remote team also had a real-time view of the imaging room utilization, helping to manage the workflow there and enabling timely diagnostic imaging. With bi-directional audio video, the attending physician can hold a telehealth consultation with a remote specialist to finalize the patient's care plan. In Rose's case, a cardiologist. Great. Now, when the House Supervisor RN saw Rosa had the inbound order for telemetry and realized she needed to free up telemetry capacity, overutilization of telemetry often causes backlog in the ED, and the House Supervisor was eager to get Rosa on telemetry immediately to monitor her condition. Unfortunately, while on the centralized telemetry unit, Rosa suffered further cardiac complications. But the remote monitors quickly registered her abnormal rhythms and vital signs and immediately alerted the on-site care team. Through remote online collaboration and access to Rosa's imaging and lab results, the attending physicians then consulted with a team of cardiologists to diagnose Rosa with aortic stenosis and determine she needed to go to the OR. So, Sarah, how does Philips Telemetry Solutions ease the workflow for Rosa's nurses? Because the care team knew Rosa needed telemetry, the Collaboration Center helped the Supervisor RN assess which current patients could be moved off of telemetry and easily sourced a telemetry pack by utilizing the Telemetry Performance Analytics application so there was no interruption in monitoring Rosa's condition. Rosa benefited from Philips centralized monitoring, which aggregates and communicates data from monitors and third-party devices. They also had access to powerful clinical decision support tools, early warning scoring, and also prioritizing Rosa's alarm protocols and workflows based on her clinical history. This technology can also proactively offer suggestions for personalizing each patient settings to help reduce non-actionable telemetry alarms. As a result, the centralized telemetry unit team in the Collaboration Center enabled continuous cardiac monitoring for Rosa and the most critical patients. Well, everyone can breathe a sigh of relief because Rosa's valve replacement procedure was a success. From the Philips Hybrid OR, she was then transported back to the ICU where the remote team and collaboration center had already designated a bed for her recovery. The ICU at Valley Health where Rosa recovered is remotely supported by Tele-ICU from the collaboration center, designed to predict complications, enhance communications, and standardize operating principles. Telecritical care acts as air traffic control to support a bedside to a virtual connected care team. So Sarah, how does Tele-ICU in the Collaboration Center support Rosa's recovery? Together, the remote and bedside care team used automated acuity to get an overview of patients' conditions across the many ICUs in the Valley Health System. This also included AI-enabled proactive scores, which support early identification of adverse trends for acute patients before they clinically worsen. Philips' clinical algorithms helped the nurses assess Rosa's condition, including the Clinical Predictive Deterioration Index, which showed the probability that Rosa will need to receive an intervention in the next 60 minutes, and her Discharge Readiness Score, which predicted how well she would do out of the ICU. Once Rosa improved enough to be downgraded to the med surge unit, the continuous monitoring from her biosensors enabled automated early detection to provide alerts to the on-site care team if her condition showed signs of deterioration. Once Rosa was stable enough for discharge, the virtual care team met with Rosa and her husband to provide discharge instructions. This included medication review, tips for healthy transitions, and information about her orders for home cardiac monitoring. This order also queued for delivering Philips suite of home monitoring to ensure continuous guided management. 
Finally, Rosa got strong enough to return home, where we all know patients recover best. She was enrolled in a virtual program for cardiac monitoring and also scheduled for a follow-up cardiac MRI to assess her progress. Now we know that it is key for patients to properly prepare for an imaging scan in order to prevent no-shows and rescheduling. Now that can become costly for imaging clinics, but her care team was relieved to see she had no trouble prepping on her own for her exam. Now we know that putting patients on community-based population health programs can reduce repeat emergency visits by 20%. So now that Rosa is back home, Sarah, how did Phillips and her care team monitor her condition and avoid costly readmission? Phillips Collaboration Center enables the remote caregivers to continue managing Rosa's progress at home via connected patient monitoring solutions. These include patient-reported outcomes, vital signs measurements, surveys, and care team notification solutions. She uses a medical alert service device, so she can press her pendant at any time to immediately be connected to a trained care specialist to dispatch the right kind of help. These solutions can help detect negative trends before health problems escalate potentially avoiding costly readmissions. Rosa and her husband received automated communications directly on their smartphones that gave detailed instructions to prepare for her follow-up exam and even helped navigating to the hospital. This not only ensures Rosa is prepared and comfortable, but also helps the radiology department manage no-shows by keeping patients engaged in the process Simple deployment integrates into existing IT, and clinical workflows allow much of the patient management process to be automated and freeing up staff to spend more time with patients. So, two weeks later, Rosa returned to Valley Health for her follow-up cardiac MRI. To her surprise, she doesn't have to wait long upon arriving for her exam. She also noticed that her young radiology tech could telecommunicate with a remote cardiologist which increased her confidence in the exam. You see, Philips technology has shown to reduce the need for repeat scans by up to 7%. Now, how are we making imaging exams easier for both patients like Rosa and radiology technologists? Rosa's MRI was processed quickly as Valley Health uses Philips technology with AI to prioritize patients with clinical context and an intuitive summary of information from various systems presented in a single view. Rosa's cardiac image scan was conducted centrally via the teleacquisition as she's a complex case and her radiology tech needed to communicate with a senior cardiologist for the best result and for first time right scan. This solution also allows senior radiology technologists to support scans across the entire health system. The radiology department director is able to control follow-up compliance to make sure the patients are following recommendations. Now, due to the virtual care provided by the remote team at Valley Health's Collaboration Center, Rosa and her family felt confident that she was receiving the best care possible at every stage of her care journey. At the same time, the efficient progression of Rosa through the health system and back to her home, enabled by the centralized support team of Valley Health's care delivery model, eased her experience and her care team's workflow, all while reducing costs. Philips is one of the few companies that can combine operational and clinical transformation and leading technology with professional services that help you optimize your processes and use of technology all across the health continuum. And everything you saw here today is available now or will be within the year. And we're actively working to integrate these capabilities into HealthSuite, our cloud-based platform. Also, this is not a closed system. Philips integrates its solutions with your existing IT infrastructure and works with third parties via a managed service approach. We will manage your informatics system while working with you to optimize your IT solutions. Now, we invite you to continue your virtual experience with our Future Zone video, in which we present our vision for empowering your digital healthcare transformation. Contact our experts today to see how we can partner with you on your strategic plan for care delivery. Thank you on behalf of Sarah and myself for joining us in this virtual experience.